Radar pulses aimed at Venus and skimming near the sun return slightly late in the Shapiro time delay, and gravitational lensing. The bending of light by a massive galaxy can split one distant quasar, a brilliant galaxy core, into multiple images whose brightness changes arrive days apart. All these observations say the same thing GPS engineers rely on. Gravity changes how fast time accumulates. Time differences are not glitches in clocks. They reflect different paths through space-time, the combined arena of space and time. Each clock accumulates its own proper time, and proper time depends on both speed and gravitational height. For GPS satellites, weaker gravity up in orbit makes the atomic clocks tick faster by about 45 microseconds per day, while the satellite's high speed makes those clocks tick slower by about 7 microseconds per day. The gravity effect wins, so the satellite clock ends up about 38 microseconds per day ahead, exactly the mismatch engineers have to remove. The final twist reinterprets the opening. There is no single universal, now even on Earth, because a clock on a mountain, or at your head, ticks a tiny bit faster than one at sea level, or at your feet. Like if this was interesting, hit the subscribe for more, and turn that notification bell on.